This channel is about yachts for sale located in Turkey and sold internationally. We visit and inspect every yacht we lease for sale. We will be visiting today a 22 meter steel hull motor sailor that was built in 2016. She was built to CE certificate class A, Ocean. She is now offered for sale from her first owner. Yasmina was constructed and designed as a live on board yacht for family use and with simple to handle and short handed operation in mind. Outdoor areas are vast and offering plenty of space for sunbathing, dining and yacht operation. Yasmina is offering a huge master cabin at the aft with ensuite, large windows and lots of storage space for personal belongings. In addition, there are another three good sized guest cabins, each with its own bathroom. Amidships, there is a large open space which include the salon with plenty of natural light and a helm station with perfect view for navigate from inside during wet and windy weather and long passages. The well-equipped galley is huge and can comfortably provide the needs of the owners and guests. It has good storage space all around. The yacht is powered by 600 horsepower Volvo Penta with very low engine hours. With 6000 liter plus of diesel fuel capacity, this yacht will cover 2000 nautical miles under power. In addition, the yacht is equipped with generator, large battery storage and water maker. Join me now to a full walkthrough video that will show you all in details. So we are starting our tour today from the aft. As you can see, there is a large dinghy here, uh, which is hanged on the davits, just like that. It's electrical davits. And we are moving forward to see the aft deck. Now this boat is 22 meter uh, with the bow spirit is 24 meter and it, it has a huge aft deck for sunbathing, sail operation and of course to rest and to dine. Now we are in the winter so the bimini is folded and the canvas is stored. But there is a big uh, bimini covering this area. And here is the place that you can sit, relax and dine. Now this is the aft control station. This basically has uh, electronics from Raymarine and it has single engine from Volvo with 600 hours. We will see it later on when we will visit the engine room. And here we can see electrical winches. You can see the controllers here to handle the sails. Now this boat is, has catch rigging. As you can see, this is the Mizan mast and that's the, that's the main uh, mast for the main uh, for the main sail. Let's have a quick look to see her decks. There is a grainy bar here. And here again there is a great place for uh, sunbathing. And we can see here the base of the main sail mast with some uh, grainy bars to handle the sail. It's an infill uh, main sail as well as the mizan sail. Has big uh, uh, three pairs of spreaders. And it has genua and four sail, inner sail which are again electrically filled. 
here we have engine uh, sorry um, anchor windlass from Lou France Italy and bow spirit now the bow spirit can be removed in case it's needed just by unscrewing uh, some cables and pulling it out uh, to make the boat shorter and then again we have a beautiful tic tac here which is in very good condition and a great seating area just here to relax while cruising or on anchor now the inner uh, sail the inner uh, uh, the, the inner back uh, sail has a self tacking as you can see here it has, it has its rail for self tacking and you can see the superstructure of the boat with very large windows we will go inside now so we can have the impression how this thing looks from inside now there is a, a bathing ladder or bathing stairs which are hanged on the side here and basically are launched electrically uh, sorry manually uh, with this small davit and with this you can reach to the water uh, and swim and get people from dinghy from the dinghy inside the boat well, here is another look at the huge aft deck and let's go inside to see how this boat look from inside now as I said before this boat was designed uh, as a family boat it was designed to be used by by a couple or two people and the whole philosophy is designed around this idea or the whole idea <laughs> the whole uh, design is surrounding this philosophy so anyway this is uh, the salon just ahead of it uh, there is a helm station which has a similar instrument as the one that we saw outside down there there is a galley we will visit it very soon and a little bit of uh, storage areas it has a fridge here and storage spaces down here now we are we will start today with a master cabin at the aft which is separated from the other accommodation <coughs> after the master cabin we will visit the engine room which is here now as I said before this boat was designed as an owner boat family boat so you can see this master cabin let me remind you that we are uh, on a 22 meter yacht and this master cabin reminds a, a master cabin of 30 35 meter full beam um, makeup table here makeup station sofas and a lot of storage down here on the other side and as well as here so there are a lot of personal belongings here but I'm just going to show you just a little snap of it so you can have an idea about the depth and about the volume of storage that can be arranged here and a big mirror um, okay now this, these are the en suite for the owner 
good size with sink, toilet, and with a very large shower just here. The boat is from 2016. Everything feels quite fresh and new. The boat is odorless. And we are heading back to the master cabin. Last quick look. Um, at the back, there are big windows there. So when anchoring, you can have the whole view free about, free from uh, from those windows uh, after you take the dinghy down from the davits there are another two windows side windows so and two hatches here one here and another one on the opposite side so all together you can have a lot a lot of uh, uh, fresh light here and of course there is an extra space here if you want to just put another drawer here so this boat really designed for a couple to live on board and to stay and to cruise everywhere she's a ce certificate class a which means she can cross oceans so having said that we are in the engine room and Let's first have a quick look. It's a very well designed engine room, which everything is accessible. Starting from uh, uh, the starboard side, we can see all the batteries pack are here. Very easy to, to access, to check, to replace. A little bit forward, there is a water maker from Delphin, and here we can see the air condition system from Condoria. Now the engine is Volvo uh, D13 600, which means it has 600 horsepower. You can see the huge uh, exo silencer here. Um, from Vetus and the Exus outlets. I will follow it with a camera. And as you see, it goes up and down to reduce the risk of water coming inside the engine. And the same thing, much smaller, which is this one, is for the generator. The, the, the generator is from uh, Paguro. 18,000, which means 18 kilowatts. It's an Italian brand. And here we have another small uh, starting batteries for the generators and the engines, as well as uh, inverters and chargers for all these battery packs. Here we can see the, uh, the electrical panels and basically it's it's uh, it's really a good engine room which you can access every element for service for trouble shots now there are another there are two uh, fuel tanks here with total amount of 6000 liters starboard and port side and you can see the the main entrance to it if you need to service it to clean it uh, once every few years so that's about it we are going to move forward now to see the rest of the salon the galley and the other guest cabins <coughs> so a few stairs up again another quick look I'm videoing this uh, while the boat is uh, is in the marina. It's winter time, so therefore some of the things uh, are stored. 
Okay, so here is the galley. You can have a nice view from here. It's an open galley with one open space with a salon. Good side sink uh, with another surface from stainless steel. Large surfaces for working. Induction stove. Oven from Samsung, the same the induction stove. And a lot of uh, storage space all around. Deep storage space. Cutlery. Toaster, kettle. And additional storage space. It's a, it's a great boat to live on board um, for a family, a couple, a couple with kids. Um, now, here there is a big fridge and a freezer on the other side with ice maker from Samsung again. And let's go to see the first guest cabin here on the port side. So this door is separating it from the corridor and it's a full size bed. It's a simple cabin but a good size one and a very large space for storage. As all the other guest cabins it has its own bathroom which is covered with a teak floor, big sink, toilet and shower. Let's go to see the other two cabins. All together it has three cabins. The boat has three cabins. Now just a, a small pause this hatch <coughs> is leading to technical area uh, of that you can reach very easy you can just dive inside and visit uh, water tanks some piping everything is uh, completely accessible to handle no complications when you have a family boat, you don't have a crew or chief engineer, so things has to be kept simple. And this is how this boat was designed. Simple to handle, very functional, with a lot of volume. Again, we have a nearly full-size, uh, queen-size bed. Large storage spaces for the guests and the bathroom which belongs to this cabin with toilet, sink and shower and we will go now to see the last cabin which is just on the other side <coughs> identical to the one that we saw a nearly queen size bed, double bed, and storage spaces, and the bathroom with a shower, sink, and toilet. Now, each one of the cabins has also a hatch uh, which provides the uh, natural light and when it's possible it can be open and provide fresh air so it's simply it's a simple design boat very functional that can be a, a home uh, to live on board very nice boat as I said before the hull is made from steel and the boat is, uh, has the CE certificate module A which is ocean 
which means she can go every, everywhere, uh, including ocean passage. Let's have a last look here at the amazing view that this boat is providing and plenty of natural light. <laughs>